Hello dudes and this is welcome to a video about the perfect starter setup in a new world. And first of all, don't panic. This is not nearly as complicated as it may look, but what does the perfect starter setup consist of? It consists of a villager breeder, a passive iron farm, and a passive iron farm means an iron farm that doesn't require any zombie to work. Unfortunately, that only works at daytime, so we have a beat ups box down here, which allows you to AFK and automatically skip the night. And then we have the possibility for an easy upgrade to an aggro iron farm later on in the game. In this video and in the world download on Discord, I have even included this uh, build, this small industrial starter setup that only uses uh, materials that you will have in the beginning of your world and you can make this your entire base if you want to. Are you ready? Then let's get started. First of all, take a screenshot of this 10 by 10 area and be aware that we are facing east. East is that way. And this is important only for the beat ups box. But if you want to include the beat ups box, which is optional, and of course the aggro iron farm is also optional, you will need to have this facing east. We start off by coming to this block right here and placing a hay bale like this. And that is because a hay bale negates some of the fall damage for mobs or players when they drop down. Then we just take powered rails like this and right here and a powered rail right there. And then we just lead it out of uh, the farm or whatever we should call it. Then we take a lever and power this and power this. Then we take glass, it doesn't have to be glass, it could be any material, and we tower up nine in a pattern like this. That's three. So we are three all around now, and we move that one again. And so this is the pattern, and we tower up nine from the ground, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we do this on all the sides. Then we put slabs on top of it like this and then we go to this side and place the beds like this so the head is facing out over the void <laughs> like this and like this. And then we place a fence gate right there, no, right there so it's just lower than the beds. And then you take trapdoors, we place them there there, there, and there, there. And then we take carpet like this, place them in each corner, and now your villager breeder is done. All you have to do now is bring in some villagers, but wait because we need one more villager over here. Now at this height right here, you go one, two, and then you can remove that one right there, and then you just go one more like this. So you have something to place the beds on. And then you place three beds like this. You can remove this now if you want to like that. Then you place a row of glass too high right here. And you place glass all the way around like this too high on the breeder. Then you place glass right here to the sides like this and then actually you can remove this glass again but before you do let's just try and do like this down here hi editing fab here these are placed wrong they need to be placed on the outside of the bed as i will show you later Now it's time to bring in the villagers and of course in 
creative, that's easy in survival. What you, do, what you need to do is you are close to a village and then you break the beds in the village for the first four up here. And they will follow you at night time. Bring them in at night time, it's easier. They will stay there, but if I set it tonight, you can see they will all go to sleep. This guy will eventually too, like that. And when it's daytime, they will all be standing in the middle. Now we need to bring in another guy right there and he needs to take a bed as well. So we will try it all again, night, day. Now these four villagers all have a bed. This villager here, he has a bed, but there's two beds left over, so to speak. And that is why this breeder will work. But uh, it's also a passive, as I told you, iron farm. And that's because we have five villagers, which is the minimum for a passive uh, iron farm. I have made a video about this before. This is, of course, different. And you can see the iron farm is working. Now we need to bring in solid blocks for the uh, iron golems to spawn on. And we bring in blocks like this. So we end up with a five by five area like that. And then we take walls and build them up three high. Like so. Then we come, oh, there's already an iron golem. Then we come inside and we put a sign right there and not right there, a sign right there, a sign right there. And if I can get in here, a sign right there. <laughs> and then you put lava right there. It's contained by these three signs. And then you take water and place it in this corner. Don't place it against the walls because you will waterlog it. Just place it here and you can see what happens. The iron golem is pushed into the lava, but only with his head. So you don't lose any of the iron ingots. Then you come down here right here and you can place a chest right there and then you take a hopper leading into that chest and then you go on this side and place hopper pointing into the hopper and a hopper pointing into the hopper and i just got a message i forgot to break this rail right here that one there shouldn't be any rail there now, actually, most of it is already done. You have a breeder and you have a passive iron farm without a zombie. As you can see, it is working. If you want to use the breeder, then you need to be able to give the uh, villagers food. So we take out this one right here and we make some way to get up there in the build over there. I over there, I have made a way up there for you, but Otherwise, you just need to have a way to be standing right here. And then you put one. Uh, it's easier to do it on this one first. You can see you just get the edge there and you put it like this and you put it like that. And any food you put on this one right here, they will pick up. For villagers to breed, you need two villagers to have food and not share it with anyone else. So you might need to put in a little bit more because they're four. But basically you need, uh, when it's bread, you need, um, what is it? Six bread each, I think. And when it's carrots, it's 12 each. But let's just try and see. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then you move back and you can see they have taken it. I don't know if six is enough. Hi, editing fab again here. This is the moment where I realized that I placed these wrong and they're preventing uh, the villagers to breed. So I'm just replacing them like this. You can see there needs to be two on the outside of the bed. Love is in the air. Da, da, da. Everywhere you look around, da, 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 da. love is in the air, yeah. and a baby hit the ground. Yes, 
So now we have built up the breeder. It's working. We have kids. We have a passive iron farm. Unfortunately, that only works in the daytime. So if you want to optimize your iron output, you need to skip the night. And you can do that automatically uh, AFKing with this speed up box that I have made a separate video for. So I will go through it very, very fast. But basically you build up a three high wall like this. You put slabs right here in the middle and you put slabs on top and the slabs on top is just to prevent iron golems from spawning here. Then you go inside and you punch out this one and this one and then you place a bed that way facing east. Remember that facing east. Punch out that one and then you place water right there. Punch out that block, place a chest and the chest is just so you sink down ever so slightly more so you always will be hitting the bed and then on this block right there you place a sign like this and you place water right there and now it is working if i go into survival and i stand here and i have an empty hand and i have nothing in my offhand and i click at this and then i put something heavy on my uh, mouse or I change it in here options and controls and keybinds and I change this to a mouse on my keyboard and put something uh, something heavy on it uh, then you will always stand here when you have slept and uh, be sleeping again unfortunately the F3 T trick doesn't always work so be aware of that so now I, ha now I have set my uh, right mouse button to an arrow button and I put my coffee cup on top of it. And uh, this should mean that I will be automatically sleeping through the night and standing here again, trying to sleep the next morning. And it works. Now I just have to reset my keys. Now, as I said in the beginning, this one is optional. You don't need it. You do have a breeder, you do have an iron farm, but this will optimize your iron output. Now, at some point, you might want to upgrade your passive iron farm to a active aggro iron farm. And that is what I've tried to outline with these yellow parts right here. So this is an add-on that you can build and then when you're comfortable and you have been in the nether and you've gotten some soul sand, you can bring in a zombie down here and then you can use this. All right, let's just quickly build this up. So if you want to build this up, you start by taking out these two right here. That one and that one right there. And then you put in slabs there and there and then you build up a tube like this like this and you put it up to this height just below the chest and you prolong it one two one two and one two and then you need to have glass here as well so it will be a four high tube like this and underneath it you will put soul sand in the middle like this right there and then you can come come down in here and you can place water right there then you come down here and you place a trap door not like that but like that so it's one lower than this one and now basically you need to get in the zombie and you will do that by of course making a stairway up here at night and have him following you up here and then you will put uh, basically a trap door right here like that or like this and you will have your escape here and he will fall down but it's creative so I will just put in a zombie now the zombie will burn in the daylight so we need to make sure he has more than a solid block over his head right there and then right there because nothing this means that iron golems can spawn on it and we go in here i just put him in a creative like that so now it's not burning 
And of course you need to either make sure that he's holding something or you need to name tag him for him not to disappear when you move away from the farm. And then you put a lever right there. The final thing we need to do uh, is to place a trapdoor right there. And the reason we have that is because when they're breeding, they get disturbed by the zombie and sometimes it stops their breeding. So if you want to have them in breeding mode, you can switch this on and off. Now the zombie can see them, they can see him and they are quiet. They need to pass the bread and breed. So let's just go through it quickly again. We have a villager breeder that works. We have a passive iron farm that works that can be upgraded to an agro iron farm that also works at night and is more efficient even in the daytime. We have this optional beat ups box that when you have it as a passive iron farm can make you skip the night so it basically works all the time. And over here I have made this building for you that will be in the world download. It's all pretty much starter materials, things that you should be able to get fairly easy there's nothing advanced in here and you can basically have this as your base if you want to you can put in storage and you're good to go all right dudes and dudesses thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you can use it in your world and if you like the video do leave a like it helps the channel and if you're brand new subscribe and i'll be seeing you in the next one bye <laughs>